This is the Louisiana pine snake. If we didn't show it to you, you'd probably never see it or its distinct yellow and brown splotch scales. It's one of the rarest snakes in North America. The Louisiana pine snake can grow up to six feet long. It's not poisonous, it's a constrictor. It wraps its prey and suffocates them. Its known habitat is estimated to be less than 200 square miles in the longleaf pine forests on the Louisiana-Texas border, a habitat that is only 3% of its once massive size. It's almost impossible to spot in the wild because the snake spends its time below ground, moving through the tunnels of its rodent prey. But when it pokes its head above ground, its habitat is in steady decline. Fewer trees mean fewer rodents burrowing beneath, and that means fewer pine snakes. And with encroaching human development, the ever-present threat of being crushed under road traffic looms. This is the Louisiana pine snake. This is the Guatemalan beaded lizard. Its bite can be deadly, but we're a larger threat to it than it is to us. There are less than 200 of these creatures left in the wild, making it one of the most endangered lizards in the world. Their beaded black skin is adorned with yellow spots and bands. They can be found mainly in deserts and dry forests, but even then they're hard to find as they spend about 70% of their lives underground. Measuring up to a foot and a half when fully grown, they can pack a serious punch. They are one of only two lizard species that are venomous. The venom is in their saliva, and it's administered when they bite their prey. Unfortunately, this venom also strikes fear among humans, the biggest threat to these otherwise docile creatures. Hunting, habitat loss, and poaching have forced this phantom lizard to fight for its survival. This is the Guatemalan beaded lizard. This is the spider tortoise. These little guys are so endangered that scientists say that they could completely vanish in the next 15 years. The spider tortoise is hard to find. For one, they're tiny. One of the smallest known land turtles, rarely reaching more than six inches in length. Another reason, they only inhabit a tiny sliver of Madagascar's southwestern coast. Their name comes from the web-like patterns on their shells. During the dry season, they bury themselves in the sand and re-emerge when it rains to feed on leaves, roots and insects. Just because they're tiny doesn't mean they're young. They're estimated to live up to 70 years in the wild. These little guys are up against a lot. The largest concern is that they are still hunted locally for food, but the illegal pet trade and shrinking habitat are all threats to their survival. This is the spider tortoise. This is a Chinese alligator. Native to eastern China, it is so rare that there are only 130 left in the wild. Known as the Yangtze alligator, it is one of the smallest crocodilians in the world. Their stocky body is covered in hard scales on the back and its blunt teeth are perfect for crushing shelled animals like clams and snails. Their menu also includes fish, insects, birds, and the occasional small mammal. They stay in subtropical areas with freshwater sources like lakes, ponds, marshes, and streams. Sadly, these habitats are disappearing, often to make room for agriculture. This and poaching are the biggest threats to the survival of the species. Luckily, they do well in captivity, as they have been successfully bred in wildlife refuges and zoos. This is the Chinese alligator. This is the Rowley's Palm Pit Viper, and it's as dangerous as it is rare. There are 10 species of palm pit viper that inhabit the cloud forests of Central America. But of all of them, the Rowleys is the most rare and elusive. 
It can only be found on three isolated mountains in southern Mexico. Brilliant green and slender, these vipers will spend most of their lives coiled quietly in trees and other vegetation. They are not aggressive by nature, but will strike if disturbed. A bite from a rallies is not likely to be fatal to humans, but be warned, no specific antivenom exists for this extraordinary species of snake. While not necessarily a threat to us, those that should be worried are the small mammals and tree frogs that the viper preys upon. Those that stray too close will meet a swift and silent end. But even these venomous predators can't stave off bigger threats. Deforestation and overcollection for the pet trade are perilous threats for this rare animal. This is the Rowley's Palm Pit Viper. This is a Japanese giant salamander. It is massive. This primeval amphibian can grow up to five feet long and weigh over 50 pounds, making it one of the largest salamanders to ever crawl the face of the earth. Despite its primitive look, the Japanese giant salamander is highly evolved. It is covered head to tail with specialized cells that detect tiny vibrations in its environment. When it detects a threat, it excretes a strong smelling ooze that smells like a Japanese pepper, hence its common Japanese name, giant pepper fish. The Japanese giant salamander is entirely aquatic and spends its life in clear, cool flowing streams. It has no gills, but instead absorbs oxygen through its skin. If left alone, the Japanese giant salamander will live a long life. This one is 26 years old, and in the wild, they can live to be nearly 80. But pollution of its river habitat and overcollection are threatening this fascinating primordial creature. This is the Japanese giant salamander. This is the Panamanian golden frog. A frog so rare, it may no longer exist in the wild. Merely inches in size, this frog's ornate skin is stunning, but also quite poisonous. The frog is covered in deadly toxins to protect itself from predators. In the wild, it feasts on insects that it finds near streams in the mountainous rainforests of Panama. But a combination of deforestation, poaching, and a devastating fungal disease laid waste to their population. But there is still hope for this special amphibian. Breeding in captivity has been successful, and continued efforts are being made to protect and preserve their habitat. This is the Panamanian golden frog. This is the Blanding's turtle. Look closely because they're hard to spot in the wild. Blanding's turtles aren't very big, topping out at around 10 inches in length. What distinguishes them is their bright yellow chin and throat. Like the stereotype, Blanding's turtles take their time. However, once they've reached full adulthood, there's no slowing down. A recent study found an 83-year-old female that was full of eggs ready to lay. Their general habitat is wetlands with shallow water. Their range is centered around the Great Lakes, extending east to New York and up to southern Ontario. But the wetlands they call home are shrinking and becoming fragmented from human development, the biggest threat to the survival of this gentle and timid creature. This is the Blanding's turtle. <laughs> 